Hey everybody, Kirk Jung here from LearningGolf.tv. Like many of you, I'm stuck at home for the next week uh, due to the coronavirus, but I can still answer some of your questions and do some filming here at home in my backyard or upstairs in my studio. And today I'm going to talk about grip strength and the single plane swing relating to my setup for impact golf swing. And I'm a little bit unique in that I do not teach just one grip strength because I'm looking for offering the fastest improvement possible. And I've seen through other methods where people are trying to copy exactly another golfer like Mo Norman in the past where everybody was trying to copy his neutral leading hand grip position. And I saw people struggle with this, uh, some of them working on it for many years uh, without improvement. And what I've found is that if you leave their lead hand grip strength alone and focus on getting them set up on their impact plane, so making sure that the club is set up on plane with the wrists in an uncocked position, and don't worry about grip strength unless the person is hooking the ball or hitting with closed club face often. Most people that have a stronger lead hand grip position have been doing that their entire golfing life. And so if you force them into a neutral position, the problem is they're going to hit everything high and to the right. And then what happens is if they keep stick with it long enough, then they start manipulating the club with their hands in order to close the club face. So they end up, like most people who are trying to copy that neutral uh, grip, they end up flipping with the hands. So my advice then is to find the position that feels comfortable for you with the leading hand holding the club a little bit more in the hand as opposed to the fingers and finding the orientation that fits. I myself use a fairly neutral grip which has the leading edge of the club here flat or horizontal when the back of the hand is flat. So it's set up, that's towards the target. If you do the same thing and you hold the club out in front of you and when you put your hands down, if the club face is open, then what I want you to do is just adjust the club so that it's square. And then when you're doing some of my drills where we do some swings in slow motion, if you come back and you get to impact and you see the club face open, again, you need to adjust the club within your hands, which is effectively making the grip a bit stronger. At the same time, if you're making some swings and you come in and the club face is closed, then I would check to see that your hand is a little bit more in the neutral position. If you have a strong grip and you're hitting the ball to the left sometimes with a big hook, that's the time that you would take the leading hand and turn it to a more neutral position. I want you to improve as quickly as possible. That's the focus of my setup for impact golf swing. And I've seen people in some schools be told, go home, practice the drills, make sure the grip is neutral, make sure your setup is perfect, don't go on the golf course for six months. That, to me, is bad advice. I want you to improve, I want you to play golf. I'm looking for, go to the range, find the position that works so that when you swing back and through on a single plane that you hit the ball straight. So if I'm getting set up, if I get in my setup position and it feels right to me, I'll hit some shots. And if the ball flies straight, consistently then I know that my grip strength is correct. If I'm fighting a hook or the ball is starting to the right and drawing back to the target, then I realize, oh, the club base is a little bit closed and then I'm going to work towards neutral. So over time, if you're doing drills and working on the swing and you start to hit more shots to the left, that's the time to go to neutral. Don't go to neutral if you're already hitting the ball straight. All questions and comments are appreciated. Uh, please click like. Please also subscribe here to my channel. Click the red button below and accept notifications to be notified as new videos come out. I will be doing some live shows here on YouTube as well. And there will be many new videos coming up. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great day.